Diamond attack now. And the spot news media. Send this a road. We a fighter. Say you a fighter. Diamond Guys, I just wrote this, so bear with me. Bear with me. We a fighter. Try to fight life, but life a fight back. Who no like me, me know them a go like that. But for me, time must come, tell them type that. Promise, we don't want to quit. I have to fight my lungs, it kinda hard to live. Disappointment too feels like it's a talk to me. See the past that we just try to run from just a touch away. Long time we are work, but them not sit the work. We are try to run from pain, but all we see your hurt. Try to escape trouble, but why it's we first? Now you understand the type of life, but we just see your hurt. They must have to try, so much I only glad. They might tell us that the brick to it them around the corner. As we reach, we get style, they will sit the barber. Chano, Chano, Chano. Just want to fly out somebody, give me a passport. Like the place so we call home, I suffer for no The type of life we can live for only Chano. Chano, Chano, Chano. But we are fighter. We are fight life, so life are fight back. The people, they want to like with them, I'm going to like that. But we must get to break through, tell them time to Say we are fighter. Say you are fighter. So we are fighter, we are fighter, we are fighter. I'm a see a fraudster. I'm a see a pastor. I'm a see a woman give a jacket to a man when she knows set the pan and not the father. I'm a see a pastor. I'm a see a fraudster. I'm a see a man that don't need like the square man that did not want like him at the father. But something put down for no how one thing me, I call it a karma. Like, who don't love the drama? When you a ball for, when me a ball for, when me a fighter, and you a fighter, who know them not go like that, them not go like that, but we a go fight back. Time a liar, hey, share this, me know you hear this. Motivation free, you deep enough for pay me. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Sunday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. So I hope the regular ones and ones them out there had a blessed and wonderful Sunday into the Sunday evening presently. And you have relaxed and enjoyed the red rice and roast or whatever meat kind you may have prepared and drink on a decent strung up strung up juice. For continue, for put the energy in the body so the body can continue into this upcoming work week. So in this evening's vlog, On The Spot News Media will be giving you the history of the ongoing gang violence in the 41 Rosites, Green Tank and surrounding communities over there in the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled St. James Police Division. So this is just a show, Bujo. The criminal element that I spoke about in some recent vlogs who, by the way, have been implicated in the knockings and clappings that took place in 41 Rosites at the home of this criminal element presently on your screen identified as Raymond Bossed, who is aligned to the squash faction of the six. Now, you have all seen... And if you have not yet seen, please go over my Instagram page and watch that last post where the knockings and clappings took place at the home of Raymond Bossed just after he was granted bail and he went home that said day. Now, as I stated earlier, Bujo, a criminal element that I featured on this program quite a few times, was implicated in that knockings and clappings. Raymond Bossed, however, escaped without any kind of injuries, but him get some minor cuts and bruises and probably sprain him ankle somewhere along the line there. So before we get into the history 
of the happenings in the Green Tank and 41 Roseides community. Let me just take this opportunity to make the justice system know say yo, on a feel Jamaicans once again and I'm pretty sure the regular members of Chan Public is most definitely not surprised because Raymond Bosset who absconded bail on a particular matter and left the island, got deported back to the island, was never caught, was caught eventually in a police dragnet in Clarendon, sent back to St. James to face criminal charges of absconding bail and to answer to the charges that he was arrested for first. He was then again granted bail for the same charge when he jumped the case span. Now, I'm just saying this, that the justice system, and you too, the regular members of Chan Public can know, now look for say Raymond, go back a court panda case there. Raymond, I go use this knockings and clappings now. He might go try another attempt again. We got through the border and if he is successful now he has grounds to seek political asylum in the united states of america because this knockings and clappings went viral it is alleged that he also made a police report and that police report will be asked for by the United States authorities and if given to them, that will be enough evidence that his life is indeed in danger in his homeland, Jamaica. And who knows, they may just grant him the political asylum. So, that I in my view still, me now look for see Raymond Bosset go back a court for the case there that he was granted bail for. But anyway, make we get on into this evening story. Now I carried some vlogs on the criminal element identified as Buju. In fact, last week Sunday I dropped one and named Buju and his brothers as main and key players in the ongoing gang war in the Green Tank community of Rosites, Mobile St. James. Now he was not pleased. He went to social media and labeled persons like Miss Chin and her mother as informants, stating that they are the ones that are giving vloggers and police information about him and his brothers. Now, the criminal element, Buju, went on Popeye's Newslings channel, where Popeye conducted an interview. He stated that he was an angelic being with white wing round and back, as he was not involved in any form of criminal activities in the Moby St. James space of 41 Rosites or Green Tank in the community where he's allegedly one of the top tier dons in that era. And well, not even allegedly. I could take out that because it is proven that Buju is a known and reputed top tier criminal element from Green Tank, Moby St. James. Now you know what was so funny about the interview and Papa's news links with this criminal element here present on your screen identified as Buju. He told Papa's news link that he did not drink or smoke. And funnily, the photograph that I have of him, he was drinking. But I guess he was at the party drinking some pineapple juice. So Buju, we're gonna give a pass. And that one. Now let me give you know, the full history. So that you, Bujo, can know say, listen to me. Me no need the likes of Miss Chin nor her mother to give me on the Spot News Media any information about you or the criminal network that you're a part of. What you need to understand is that on the Spot News Media is a movement that stretches far and wide just like your criminal tentacles that you have that you stretch far and wide so we do not need the likes of miss chin or our mother in fact miss chin and our mother would rather choose your side than to give information to me on the spot news media 
as I stated in a previous vlog, remember that Miss Chin was also your sister-in-law in times gone by. So Miss Chin would definitely more be on your side than to take side against you and side with me. But anyway, history lessons, people. Now, as far back as in the mid-2000, 2006, 2007, 2008, coming up, you have a criminal element identified as Buru. A police officer back then in the days, everybody at Mobile know about this police officer you're known as Karate Jaji. One of the top knackies and clappies as a policeman back in them time there. Now, Burroughs' life was taken by Karate Jaji. And then another criminal element known as Garden, his life was taken by Baga. And that in itself left a gap. A whole heap of headless chicken, so to speak, now start running up and down because them not have no leader as the two heads are no longer among the land of the living. So that left a whole heap of feared knackies and clappies without a leader. Whole heap of people come in at a criminal elements and try to fill that gap, but was not successful in doing so. And who and behold, the brother of Buju, this criminal element here presently on your screen, identified as Fabian, but more popularly known in the streets as G-Man, took up badness and rose to become the reputed gang leader of the Green Tank community. Now, Buju, G-Man and Dapper they are brothers. Their mother is a female identified as Delia. Now, that family is heavily invested in witchcraft, what we call Obiawoka. Them type of thing they, they are heavily invested in. The three brothers walk around with guard rings on their fingers. And the mother herself is also heavily invested in witchcraft. It is said that they are trying to work a seance also and on the spot news media. Well, let me tell you this. You see, the God where on the spot news media serve, now I go sit by and allow the likes of you to harm him or anyone in his immediate surroundings. So what you all are planning and doing, trust me, you not do that in vain. Because no harm can come up against the son of the true and living God. So you not do, not go work. But anyway, we go continue. Now, they also have strong connections in the JCF and also in the JDF. So that make them feel like them untouchable because of them links and connections with the security forces and also with the criminal underworld. Plus to top it off, they are heavily invested in witchcraft. They think that they are untouchable and nobody can really do them nothing. Now make a fast forward. There was Anakis and Klappis. We come from out of the zigzag crew from Rosemount, Green Pond. Anakis and Clap is the name Kegs, who is now deceased. Persons from within those communities can give a test to everything what on the spot news media is saying. And Kegs, who is now deceased, have a partner in crime known as Poppiness. Poppiness who come from around a Beirut in a Rosites. Now who remember the recent Knackings and clappings are going over Freeport police station that made headlines all over. Where this stone crusher brother here, presently on your screen, known as Bigfoot, disarmed a police officer and knock it and clap it on a rival in the jail cell identified as Matthew Reed. Well, this criminal element identified as Bigfoot is the same criminal element that went for the Beirut Dan known as Poppiness 
knock it and clap it in a poppiness face. Poppiness daughter was in that vehicle and she also lost her life. No, back in a them time there, they were robbing people, robbing scammers in the community. Sometime around 2008, 2009, they're about. And anyone who dared to put up a resistance would have lost their lives. And back in them time, they scamming, they basically in a prime time and the regular ghetto youths them now start get access to the scamming and start make a money. So in order to stop the robbing and the whole heap of knockings and clappings in the communities, an alliance was formed. So G-Man from Green Tank, he recruited Linkai. And a criminal element identified as AJ. Now, AJ and Linkai did control a little turf just above Green Tank, right? So, so them combine the two areas and just call the whole place Greenland. Now, G Man made friends with Elder from the cream shop, they saw. The same Elder with Fim son, they can up G Man in the past. But I guess G-Man just pushed that aside and decided say, yo, we have to pull together and come as one to make this thing a work. The elder son named Odin, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Poe. Poe, by the way, is now deceased. And his last life was planned and orchestrated by G-Man for use kegs and puppiness to slap him away. And his lasso life basically unified the dance. Now fast forward, countless amount of people end up losing them three pints. And Ling Kai, who is the brother of a criminal element identified as Flacco and Meat Fat. Meat Fat, I spoke about him in recent vlogs. Ling Kai is the big brother for them two man there. And Ling Kai was basically... The main knackis and clappis in a them time there. The man where I niam every food in a the place. So Linkai basically was the most feared. And he traveled in the back seat of his car. Whilst his baby mother would have drive. And when she pull up, Linkai just jump out and dirt settings was the order of the day. So it was like a Bonnie and Clyde type of situation with Linkai and Fim Baby Mother. Now, G-Man and Bujo and College never too like what go on. G-Man presently on your screen to the left. Bujo presently on your screen in the middle. College, who is a financer, a known scammer and instigator in Green Tank to the right of your screen. I spoke about these three criminal elements in last week's Sunday vlog. Now, for those who is just tuning in for the first time and understand where this I come from, go tune in to last week's Sunday vlog so you can get a better understanding of everything that is being said here. So G-Man, Bujo and College Never liked the fact that Linkai in the limelight. He was getting all the praises, all the recognition, and all the other knackis and clappies them in the place start gravitate more to Linkai and look up to Linkai as the real man in the criminal underworld. And everybody would have just circled around Linkai when they were out partying. Now, fast forward. Who remember? The song where Vibes Cartel did, I think back in 2010, if memory serves me correct, called Moby Anthem. Popcorn also did his version of Moby Anthem. When Vibes Cartel started that song, he stated, Slimmatic, call out Carnival Courts, because you are lead out Moby Empire. And he stated, them carry me got tour my beer and said to Popcorn in the song, Popcorn, you stay. And Popcorn said, yes. And the song went on. 
Now, when Vibes Cartel went to that particular community, he was introduced to Linkai by the producer of them called Slimmatic at the time. Then, shortly after, Vibes Cartel released the Mobile Anthem. And that song caused a whole heap of bad vibes in the era because when selectors play the song, them start repeat a certain part of the song where Big Up, Linkai and Fame Crew now, college, whose real name is Yannick Moulton, never too like we go on and start feel some type of way because college had the top scammer in a place with a whole heap of money and it's like the man them a water down him thing, them a lily down him thing. So college reach out to one of him schoolmate from Cornwall College, a youth with them call Rice Bag. I'm pretty sure you hear Vibes Cartel and Popcorn sing about a youth there too, back in the days. Now, Rice Bag, as I stated, was a schoolmate of college. They both went to Cornwall College and he was managing the affairs of Popcorn during the time. Popcorn never really established as yet in the musical industry. He did basically a rise to fame and was introduced to the business by Vibes Cartel and he was being managed by Ricebag because Popcorn knows at the time Ricebag of a whole heap of money as a top scammer in the place too. So the link and connection was made with college and the brother where I managed the affairs of Popcorn known as Ricebag. So right there and then Popcorn dropped his version of Moby Anthem and big up the likes of college and G-Man who is the reputed gang leader right now for Green Tank in his song. Now shortly after that, Linkai was sent to prison for police knockings and clappings. He did some time in prison for that. So when Linkai was sent to prison by the security forces, G-Man, college and Buju and Shaney, yes, the same Shaney there, Took it as an opportunity to try to get rid of Linkai soldiers and also Linkai's brothers. So there was constant knockings and clappings in the area. A couple of people well end up losing them three pints. To include a brother known as Shaba, Shani and Buju and G-Man's brother known as Dapper did get arrested and charged for Shaba. Fatal knockings and clappings. But as always, them go round threaten the witnesses. So no witness came forward. Hence, they were released. Now fast forward. AJ, which is the right hand knockings and clappings for Linkai, who was incarcerated by that time, was taken out in a hill of bullets by the security forces. Now, I'm going to share a photograph with you know. This photograph was taken back in 2009 where the late Pastor Nollis King somehow managed to let everyone come together and sign a peace treaty. Now on your screen, G-Man is in the green t-shirt. Puppiness is in the red t-shirt. Pastor King in the red and white stripe shirt, right? So, all of that go on right there. So, as you can see, them in the church and them farm some sort of truth in the place. Also, in that particular picture is Black Anise. Also, he was aligned to Linkai. But Black Anise is around Javalani right you now, the artist. All of that is for your next time still, <laughs> you see me? But anyway, I can continue. So right after the peace treaty sign now, Buju start sell strap, him start buy and sell strap in other place and the style. And his brother now, that is the reputed gang leader for the Green Tag community known as G-Man, I go around with the peace committee and a disarmed other younger gangsters 
who is not aligned to his faction and handing those firearms over and pretending as if he's some sort of saint. So after Linkai went to prison, one of his soldiers that goes by the name of Scarcher started to get rich and decided that he stopped TikTok from G-Man and definitely stop TikTok from Linkai. Now Scarcher had three brothers, all of which is now deceased. We are talking about Ducky presently on your screen, Worms and Bali, all deceased as I stated earlier. They took the life of a youth and fled the community to an Airbnb in Rhine Park. But when them take with themselves, they took the brother of G-Man with them, that is Dapper. Now, Dapper was there with them. G-Man find out, say, him gone with them. So G-Man called Scarcher now, and I say, yo, oh, you have to run out of the place and carry my little brother with you now. But G-Man don't know, say, him plan for set them up for police, name them food and broke the plate. So what G-Man do now, I call them and make them know, say, yo, bring back my brother. So Doki brought back his brother and right there and then, the police, them trail Doki when Doki I go back at the Airbnb and the police just clap away all three brothers right there and then. Yeah, man. So these are the sons of an arcade seller that goes by the name of Scarcher also. Now, this man here presently on your screen, the original Scarcher, the father Scarcher, his life was taken by Bolo Christie. And because Bolo Christie took this man's life, a whole slew of Christie family members' life was taken because of what Bolo Christie did. So this thing had uh, go on just what the end of my peeps. A long time this thing had uh, go on. Now a lot of people was really upset with G-Man for setting up the brothers and for taking his brother Dapper out of danger. So I saw the people them really get to understand, say, you know, say, boy, Bojo and the boy, G-Man, are some friend killer them. Yeah, man. But I've always stated this in my peeps. There's no loyalty among thieves. Now, let me give you know, a perfect example of how them youth are role we are talking about Bojo, G-Man and college. Now, who remember this brother here presently on your screen? known as R. Kelly in the streets. When you remember who slapped R. Kelly, when you remember who program and pay the man who got slapped R. Kelly for deal with the dirt. Yeah, man. Yours truly, Bojo and College sent this criminal element here, presently on your screen, identified as Mycos, for go slap with R. Kelly. And then guess what them do after that? Them set police figure slap way my cuss. So the man them a work under style and even the officers believed at the time that they were doing a good job in terms of working with them to rid the community of criminal elements not knowing that they were just using the security forces, feeding them information to help them to get rid of their enemies or their so-called competitors. So them criminal element, I know, definitely cannot be trusted. But I'm pretty sure that the police, them now with up on the ground, understand how them criminal elements work and work under Sykes to get rid of the enemies because them they both long enough you know so the police them understand them type of operations hence the reason why the criminal element known as Buju I take to social media right now because him see say nobody now buy into his lies anymore 
he has been doing it for so long that people start finding him out now. He can't trick the crowd anymore. Now, Bujo, I want you to listen keenly, closely to the party. We're going to talk about a youth known as Damien Irving, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Alex. Now, Alex was what you would call a little nerd type of youth. He used to drive him taxi and do him little thing. Everybody in the era used to think that Alex was what we would call a good youth. Go in church, have a little one and two girl, him always clean when he might drive him taxi and have on him little nerd glasses. So people used to love Alex. But when all hell broke loose and whole heap of man start jump off and man and man start lose them three pints. Especially the one with them called Paul that had a Dan for them at Bronx. He was basically Alex Dan. Alex used to carry out a whole heap of hitman job for him. Now after him lose him three pints, you know, Bojo and Alex jump off. And Alex saw Bojo in his car with a female companion and go knock it and clap it on Bojo. Yeah, man. And take away him back quick and fast. Luckily for Bojo, Bojo survived that attempt on his life. And his smaller brother, that a dapper and dapper's brother, Keneal, go for Alex Bilias. But because of fear, when them go for Alex, it's just like how the man them were go for Raymond Buck Shuffler. You can't see say, them fear whosoever them go for. Hence the reason why them just start bus be a wild shot. As a similar type of thing go on when time Dapper and Keneal went for Alex. Fire be a wild shot. Shut up the whole of Alex house. So Alex definitely say if me stay in other place yeah. Them are going to my food and broke the plate. And Alex lived up out of the community and has never returned to that community since then. He went totally dormant. So right now, nobody knows exactly where Alex is. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about before we close off this vlog here. This is just to show Bojo that, hey, on the spot news media don't need to get information from people like Miss Chin to give me insights on your criminal network. So this is just to show you exactly who you are dealing with. Now we are going to talk about a particular stone crusher. Everyone in Montego Bay, St. James, supposed to know about Gerardo because he became one of St. James most wanted before he was taken out by members of the security forces. But what many don't know is that Bujo again was behind all of that. Now Stone Crusher had a war going on with the Zigzag crew back then. The youth known as Kegs that I spoke about earlier in the vlog went to Sun Valley Road and took the life of a mechanic known as Ricky. Now, Ricky was the father of a stone crusher member, the same brother there known as Gerardo, who became the most wanted in Mobi at the time. Now, Bojo took Gerardo to the community. Persons in Green Tank can definitely attest to this one. Bojo took Gerardo into the community to help hide him and try to get closer to kegs who lived in Farm Heights at the time. Now fast forward, Bojo got a place rented for him in Rosemount Garden, which is just below the Green Tank community. He used Gerardo to do a whole heap of dirt. And after he used Gerardo enough, hid again behind the whole peace initiative thing and gave information to the powers that be, which is a good thing, of course, because Gerardo definitely needed to go nonetheless. So 
it was a good act, but it was not coming from a good place, if you don't get to me, I try to say. So after him finish, use up Gerardo for commit a whole lot of atrocities. Information was given to the powers that be. And the powers that be sent the security forces in and had Gerardo taken out. So my peeps, in a nutshell, that is the history of Buju and his brothers and friends who are all criminal elements. The same Buju that stated that he's in no sort of crime and violence. He's a saint only without a halo and his white wing. A man who don't drink or smoke, but on your screen, in his cup that he's drinking, is just some orange juice. And I've said this already, and I will say it again in this vlog. Some of you small-minded people might see it as bad mind and me no want to say, get a youth, elevate and have money. But the almighty creator makes some people poor for a reason. Because you no know, need to remember that Bojo College, all of them, his brothers, everybody, I did some poor, humble youth whenever I used to give no problem. Back in the days when Bojo used to push him cat and sell market produces in the market for a living. During that era of Bojo, you know, never have no problem whatsoever with either Bojo, college, G-Man, Dapper, none of them will never have no problem with. But as soon as them start make some money, that is when they decided to start bad. I mean, literally can't understand it. How can you be humble as a poor person and want to be a gangster, want to be a knackis and clappies when you actually start making money? That is the time, in my view, when you should stay away from that lifestyle because you have the money now to live good and to move yourself away from the toxicity if it is around you and live and lead a decent life. But them you I deal with the situation. Wrong. Yeah, man. So, Buju the Saint, continue to look out of your corner, yeah. Because what? Raymond Bosset. Most definitely out there. Alerts. Yeah, man. So from me say that, you don't know what that mean. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.